23 of the fantasy baseball season and it's crunch time now here. It's pretty much do or die with the last few weeks of the season winding down for fantasy owners. And here's a few pitchers I've looked to drop this week. The first guy's Blake Snell of the San Diego Padres. So Blake Snell here, he's been on a resurgence the last few weeks here for this Padre team. But he went down with a left abductor tightness in his last start is Snell. And now we don't know how long he's going to be out. And right here, I think the Padres, they're not going to rush him back at this time of the season. Even though they're in the wild card race right now is San Diego. On the season for Snell, 128 and two-thirds, seven and six record. 101 hits, 60 runs, 16 homers, 69 walks, 170 strikeouts, 4.2 OERA, a 1.32 whip, and 7 quality starts on the season. But the last couple weeks for him, he's really turned it around 14 and two thirds, 1 and 1 record, a hit, 2 runs, 4 walks, 21 strikeouts, a 1.23 ERA, and an 0.34 whip with 2 quality starts. So he's been pitching magnificent baseball, no doubt about it. But with this injury here, it's going to take a lot for Blake Snow to come back and be effective, in my opinion, within a two or three week span, whatever's left in the fantasy baseball season, depending when your leagues end, because most of my leagues are finished in week 24 here. So right here, I got Snow in one league. There's no point in me holding on to him or even stashing him on the injured list because he's not going to return within a week or two, in my opinion. But right here... I would just drop them, especially if there's better options, like I mentioned in yesterday's video on the waiver wire. The last few games for Snell, though, August 31st at the Diamondbacks, seven innings, got the win, no runs, two walks, 10 Ks, and 0.29 with an equality start. September 7th versus the Angels, seven innings, got a tough loss, one hit, two runs, two walks, 11 Ks, a 2.57 ERA, and an 0.43 whip with a quality start. And September 12th at the Dodgers, where he got hurt in yellow days ago, two-thirds of an inning, and then he went down with the tightness. So right here, I, there's no timetable, just a diagnosis. But right now, it's not looking good for Snell. And he's a player I think you'd say if we could drop this week off your roster. The next pitcher is Aaron Savali of the Cleveland Indians. So Savali, he's been a hit-or-miss pitcher this season. Also a guy who's been on the injured list for a decent amount of time. On the season, 105 and a third, 10 and 4 record, 91 hits, 44 runs, 17 homers, 26 walks, 85 strikeouts, a 3.76 ERA, and a 1.11 whip with seven quality starts on the season. But the last couple weeks here, since he returned, 7 and 2 thirds, 0 and 2 record, 10 hits, 8 runs, 3 homers, 3 walks, 9 Ks, a 9.39 ERA, and a 1.70 whip here for Saval. So he hasn't gone deep into games since he returned off the injured list. And right now, this Indian team isn't playing good baseball as well, where they're going to score him runs and give him support to win ball games. So the first two outings back for him, September 7th versus Minnesota, four and two-thirds got the loss, three hits, a run, a walk, six Ks, 1.93 ERA and an 0.86 whip. September 12th versus the Brewers, three innings got the loss, seven hits, seven runs, three homers, two walks, three Ks, a 21 ERA, and a three whip. So right here, those numbers aren't good at all. He's been getting hit hard, and fantasy owners have already dropped him in 3% of fantasy leagues over the last few days. And I don't think Saval is a guy you could count on, even though his division isn't the strongest of the divisions that he pitches in. But he's not stretched out. He's just coming off the injured list, and teams have been hitting him hard. The next pitcher I'd look to drop is Tyreek Skubal of the Detroit Tigers. So Skubal, he's been on and off this drop list this season here but I think it's very safely to drop him now after what we've seen from him over the last few weeks here on the season for school ball 139 innings 8 and 12 record 131 hits 65 runs 31 home is 46 walks 160 strikeouts a 4.21 ERA a 1.27 whip and equality starts but the last couple weeks here for school ball 0 and 1 12 hits 8 runs 3 home is 4 walks 16 Ks 6.55 ERA and a 1.45 whip. So right here, he's another guy just like Saval. He's not going deep into the games right now. His longest outing since August 18th was a five-inning game here for Scooble. So the last few outings, August 31st versus Oakland, five innings, got the loss. Seven hits, six runs, two homers, three walks, six Ks, a 10.80 ERA and a two whip. September 6th at Pittsburgh, three innings, four hits, two runs, a homer, 4Ks, a 6 ERA, a 1.33 whip, 
and September 12th versus the Rays, three innings, no decision, one hit, a walk, six Ks, and 0.67 whip, and no runs given up. But right here, to me, it looks like he's just an opener now, where he's only going to go two or three innings because that second or third time around the lineup is where it's been a problem with Scooble over the last few weeks here. And right now, Detroit, we know, isn't that great of a team. So they're just going to play it safe with him and have him as an opener, it seems like. And a pitcher who's obviously an opener isn't going to really bring much fantasy value or many categories or points-to-point -point leagues players. So right here, I think Scooble's an easy drop with all those factors going against him this week. The next pitcher is Ben Ober. Of the Minnesota Twins, so over. He was a recommended ad last week in week 22. But over, he's gone out there, and he's looked horrible, in my opinion, for fantasy owners and the Twins. On the season, 83 innings, 2-2 two and two record, 84 hits, 38 runs, 17 homers, 17 walks, 87 strikeouts, a 4.12 ERA, 1.22 whip and two quality starts. But the last couple weeks for Hober, 14 and a third, 1 and a record, 16 hits, 7 runs, 3 homers, 15 Ks, a 4.40 ERA, 1.12 whip and a quality start. So right here, the numbers aren't totally terrible, but he's not going out there. He's not going deep into games. This Minnesota team isn't a team that's going to give him much run support, even though that AL Central isn't the greatest of visions in terms of hitting teams. But right here, the last few outings for over, August 30th at Detroit, 6 innings, got the win, 5 hits, 2 runs. A homer, 5Ks, a 3 ERA, 0.83 whip, and a quality start. September 6th at Cleveland, only 4 innings, 6 hits, 2 runs. A homer, 4Ks, a 4.50 ERA, a 1.50 whip. And September 12th versus the Royals, 4 and a third, 5 hits, 3 runs. A homer, 6Ks, a 6.23 ERA, and a 1.15 whip. So right here, he's not going deep. He had a couple decent outings here and there, but he's only got 2 quality starts is over since July 20th, so that's not going to cut into my opinion for fantasy owners. And he's been dropped in 5% of fantasy weeks this week. And the fifth and final pitcher I will look to drop this week is Luis Patino of the Tampa Bay Rays. So Patino, one of the former top prospects in the Padres system a few years ago. And he's been up this season with the Rays for a little bit. 64 and a third, 4 and 3 records, 61 hits. 33 runs, 11 homers, 27 walks, 65 Ks, a 4.65 ERA, 1.37 whip and two quality starts. But the last couple weeks here for Patino, 12 and two thirds, 1 and 0 record, 16 hits, 7 runs, 2 homers, 6 walks, 12 Ks, a 4.97 ERA, and a 1.74 whip. So right here, it's mediocre to poor numbers, in my opinion. And another guy here who's pretty much like an opener. Well, he's been getting rocked, in my opinion, is Patino. So right now, he's been dropped in 3% of fantasy leagues. And there's no reason to hold on to him. So the last few outings for him, September 5th versus the Twins, 2 and 2 thirds, no decision. 6 hits, 4 runs, 3 walks, 4 Ks, 13.50 ERA, a 3.38 whip. And September 12th at Detroit, 4 and a third, 5 hits, 2 runs, a homer, 2 walks, 3 Ks, 4.15 ERA, and a 1.62 whip. So right there... Versus two bad hitting ball clubs, he couldn't get the job done as Patino. And not going deep into games, so right now there's no reason to own him. And that's a few pitches I would look to drop here in week 23 of the fantasy baseball season.